think asking the question is a kind of punishment in and of itself because it sets you up with either there's a reason to do this work because I can be completely and totally free or I have to suffer the consequence of second best, which is just living with something. I mean, you can't possibly know what's going to happen. You could do all the work to get completely and totally free from it. And the day before you finish, you get hit by a bus and you die. So you don't even get to reap the rewards of that supposed path. Or you could, on the other side, live with it in such a way where you're kind of getting free from it on a daily basis. But because you relate to that as second best to being totally free from it, it's kind of half-hearted and you end up suffering it way more than you need to if you actually were just to embrace that as the path. So let's just be open to, I don't know. I don't know if liberating myself in every moment that I experience this trauma is going to lead to one day me never experiencing it or whether I'm going to live with it my whole life. So I'm going to forget about the future and both sides and I'm just going to presence myself to what's right in front of me. What if I could be free today? What if in this moment of coming up, I could actually let go and I have the tools and the ability to liberate myself in that moment. Then here's the thing that's, going def that's definitely going to happen. I'm going to grow in my ability to unhook myself from an automatic embodied response that's a, a fear response. And what I'm getting from that is an empowered ability to let go of fear. And whether I get free from that particular trauma at some point and it never comes up or not, it doesn't matter as much as the fact that I've developed in my ability to get free from trauma because guess what life is most likely to give us at certain points? More situations that are traumatizing, more opportunities to be able to liberate ourselves. Like it's not like a one done and that's your life. Like there's a road ahead with all sorts of obstacles and challenges that can and probably will be traumatizing on some level. And to grow in your ability to meet those in a way where you can be free is probably in your best interest, probably in a greater interest than trying to be completely and totally free from something or just settling for the second best supposed option of being able to live with it. Let me put up with it, right? So let's focus instead on growing in our ability to be free and to create freedom, to reconnect with love so that we can have the power to create what we want in our life instead of either putting up with or getting past completely. How's that sound? I hope well. Thanks for watching, listening. Thanks for your question. Like, subscribe, follow. I'll talk to you soon.